like its other winter squash varieties. Kalabazai is low in calories and carbohydrates, yet it's very rich in nutrients. By the way, carbohydrates are known in French as les glucides. You almost can see the word glucose in there, which represents sugar. Calabazai is a great source of vitamins A and vitamin C, both of which are vital to the health of our immune system. The immune system is a combination of organs, white blood cells, proteins, and chemicals. And what's the purpose of our immune system? It protects our body from outside invaders. Look at this picture. A strong immune system fights off germs, viruses, 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 and toxins to keep you and I en bonne santé. Here's our mise en place for our soup au giroumont. This recipe will yield about six servings. We have here one and a half pounds of beef stew, two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lime juice, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons of apice, one tablespoon of piclis, and one tablespoon of piclis vinegar. Now, these two, apice and piclis, are staples in the Haitian kitchen. You cannot cook authentic Haitian food without them, period. Now, when I make them, I store them in the fridge for months. Now, for reference on how to prepare them yourselves, select Haitian kitchen staples from my video library. And we're simply going to marinate the meat, chill it overnight, and make our soup tomorrow. Now, the beef has already been rubbed with lime juice and washed, ready to go. This is simply how we do it. Meanwhile, we're going to prepare the pumpkin with the stock. That way, it will be one less thing to do tomorrow. We have here one pound of calabaza or Caribbean pumpkin and four cups of stock. You can use beef or vegetable stock. We're going to peel it, cut it, and boil it until it falls apart for about 25 to 30 minutes and chill it for tomorrow. to make the dumplings for the soup and the dough can be chilled overnight. Now, let me share this with you. You don't have to do everything all at once and overwhelm yourself in the kitchen when you cook. The beauty of meal prepping is you can prep one day and cook the next day. For me, I do my weekly menu once a month. My groceries every Thursday, my meal prepping every Saturday afternoon after my hot yoga class, and on Sunday afternoon, I cook for the entire week. So having a plan and being disciplined and, and intentional is how we win with food. There's no magic to it. When it comes to weight loss or just, you know, just having a healthy life, it's all about having a plan and sticking to it. All right, so we have here for the dumplings, one cup of flour, uh, half a cup of water, and some salt. Now in Haitian Creole, our word for dumpling is boy. It's spelled B-O-Y or B-O accent grave Y.
to my Haitian audience who might be thinking, we don't make subjumo like this. For me, being a culinary educator, cooking is art and science for me. I have studied it, so I go a little deeper than what we traditionally do. I use stock instead of plain water to intensify the flavor. Next, I substitute bok choy, which is a Chinese cabbage, for the white cabbage because I want more color. And the darker the vegetable, the more vitamins. Dark leafy vegetables means vitamin B and folate, which is good for the heart and reducing high blood pressure. And lastly, I leave out the spaghetti completely. Why? Because the soup already has enough carbohydrates. So now we have the ingredients for soup. So we have here half a potato diced, one large carrot sliced, one leek cut thin, half an onion diced, one celery stalk sliced, two tablespoons of a piece, one teaspoon of maggi, four cloves, one scotch pepper bonnet. Now, this pepper is the chili of the Caribbean, so do not substitute because its flavor is uniquely Caribbean. Next, we have three cups of water and two cups of buck choy. Bok choy, again, as I have already shared, is a Chinese cabbage that I am substituting for white cabbage simply because dark leafy veggies have more vitamin B, which is good for our immune system, especially during the winter and during this pandemic. Okay, then for the grand finale, for even more color um, and flavor, we're finishing our soup with one green onion uh, cut at an angle along with one tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. Let's go. When you make a soup, understand that different vegetables require different cooking time. Our timing for simmering uh, today is 20, 20, 10 for the soup jumu. Why? Because we don't want overcooked vegetables. When you make a soup, you want your vegetables to look alive and fresh. So we're not going to just throw everything in the pot for an hour and go sit down somewhere. No, no. For example, bok choy only needs two minutes to cook. Therefore, we're adding them almost near the end. Whereas the carrots, the leeks, the celery, the onions, and the seasonings will simmer for 20 minutes. And the potatoes, the dumplings for 10. And of course, you want to check for doneness to make sure your vegetables are not overcooked. The first 20 minutes will be all about the beef. It will simmer by itself with some olive oil to give it permission to release its own natural juices. I've seen Haitians boil the meat to death. That is unnecessary. Okay, then the pureed pumpkin will be added along with the veggies, the water, and the seasonings. And then our herbs, the green onions, and the parsley will be added once we turn off the heat. So 20, 20, 10.